Hi my lovely homemakers, welcome back to Ravina at Home. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I have set up the powder room in my new home. This washroom is basically used only by guests as each of us in my family has an ensuite bathroom. But I'll be sharing some tips that you can definitely use for your common washroom as well. And this week's shout out goes to Never Procrastinate. Thanks for your support and I'm so happy to have you on board with us on this channel. Now, if you will look at this powder room, you will probably realize that unlike many other countries, our bathrooms are almost always tiled all the way to the top. While this may look very neat and tidy, it also means that there is no versatility. You don't want to drill holes for nails and screws because once you drill a hole, it is permanent. As you can see, this room has a beautiful charcoal and white finish, but it has no storage, except for this one narrow ledge. One tip that my daughter has endorsed is something she learned in architecture school, and that is while symmetry is boring, balance is crucial. So avoiding symmetry, I have created some balance in the two empty sides of the sink by putting a trolley or cart on one side and a faux plant on the other. I have created a balance by aiming for a similar height on both sides. Additionally, to add to the rule of balance, I have added a small vase of flowers here. I prefer faux plants personally, but that is entirely up to you. Of course, the most important addition to any bathroom is the soap dispenser and soap dish. I got this set of two and I love that they match the colours of the bathroom so perfectly. And since we have opted for chrome faucets and handles, this chrome coloured box also matches perfectly. And in here, I have just added some grey and white paper napkins for guests who prefer not to use a common hand towel. And again, to complement this, I have placed a silver clock on the other side of the ledge as well. Along with that, I have added a candle from Crate and Barrel. Now on to the accent colours to add some interest. I have used pops of teal in this room. I have also repurposed a shoe organiser from IKEA that I had in the same teal colour to store some extra loo rolls. It is easily accessible for guests under here. I also have a foot pedal bin to match. In the second tier of the trolley, I placed this beautiful teal tray to create a vignette with some decor, along with this pouch from Harrods London. It serves as a small first aid kit in case any of my friends have an emergency. In here, I have some antiseptic cream, band-aids and some paracetamol. And once again, to balance this look, I have added a couple of decorative teal pieces over on this side. These pieces are from Takashimaya, Singapore. On the very bottom, I have just placed two magazine holders, which I have labelled using my label maker. The first one has my cleaning supplies, including some antibacterial wipes, a multi-surface cleaning spray from Mrs. Myers, and a room freshener. And at the end of this video, I will be sharing with you four tips on keeping your bathroom clean and fresh. And in this one, I have some toiletries for my guests to use, such as deodorant, stain remover, nail polish remover, contact lens solutions, and some mouthwash. And in this other Harrods case here, I have included some feminine products. And what's great is that all my friends know by now that I always have these things ready for them if they need because this powder room is for their comfort and usability. The last but also really important item on the list is some wall decor. On this side, I have added a magazine rack and put in some magazines. And over here, I'm using a small command hook, which is covered by this beautiful piece of wall art. And again, the colors match the bathroom really well. And here next to the sink, I actually stuck a curtain hook with some ceramic glue so that I don't damage the tile underneath. I just hang a hand towel here, and I think the hook is a beautiful addition to this room as well. Now that you've seen how I have set up my powder room, I also want to show you how I maintain it and keep it clean with these four basic steps. Now, aside from washing the bathroom regularly, I clean the sink and this area every day. I just use the antibacterial wipes you saw earlier, 
I do the faucets, the flush and the door handles. And secondly, I mop the floor once a week. I also wash the sink and the water closet thoroughly and empty the bin. And once a month, in addition to my weekly task, I remove everything for a deep cleaning. Finally, the fourth step is to keep everything smelling fresh. Other than the candles, which I light off and on, I also spray the room with a room freshener. I also use a few drops of essential oil inside the loo roll tube. These simple steps keep my powder room smelling fresh and clean at all times. I really hope you have enjoyed the tour of my powder room and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to ensure you do not miss any of my videos. Until next time, this is Ravina saying happy homemaking.